Overwatch heroes find themselves heading to competitive mode, and we have seven more advanced tips in this video. I'm Kyle Stover, or at Alpha Lance on Twitter, with the leaderboard, and I'm here to give you seven more advanced tips for Overwatch. So let's get started. Number one, this is competitive. This is not where you try out classes and practice. You thought people took quick play serious? Competitive play is serious business. It's where you bring your best, and you have to work together with your team to rank up. This is not where you go to practice heroes or test out abilities. Quick play is great if you want a quick and casual gameplay experience. So stick with that until you're ready for fierce competition. Play to win or play something else. This does not give people an excuse to rage at teammates, though. This should be obvious for anyone heading to competitive, so our friend has this advice for the rest of you. Arms Race likes to warm up with a match versus AI with only headshots enabled. This self-inflicted challenge pushes him to aim higher and make sure his shots count. Custom games can give you an edge and make you try heroes you otherwise might overlook. Even just a quick match before competitive play can bring you up to speed. Number 2. Talk about what happened. Did you do well that last game? What worked with your team? Did you guys get shut out? What went wrong? What went right? If you're on your own, take time after each game of competitive on the main menu before rushing into the next match. Get a drink of water, use the bathroom, watch your highlights. Don't go into a match pissed off because you're not going to be in the right headspace to play your A game, and that's helping no one. At the very least, reflect on what you can improve on with your hero picks and your playstyle. If you're with teammates in a group, give feedback, give out compliments, thank your supports. Discuss the tactics that worked and what the enemy used against you. Maybe you can learn from that. Don't just rag on bad teammates or rage against enemy bastions. Personal reflection and improvement focused on yourself can better prepare you for the next match. You can only control yourself and how you react to situations. Number three. Coordinate your movements and attacks with your teammates. Going beyond just communicating, work in unison with your maneuvers and attacks. Keep in position with your Reinhardt. Focus on the enemy your Zenyatta threw a discord orb on. When your tracer causes a distraction on the point, push through the choke point defenses. Know what your role is and how it plays into the other hero roles. Part of this is just letting your teammates know what you're doing, and part of this is knowing when to capitalize on the efforts to maximize your push. As Empiric points out, the payload moves fastest with three heroes near it, so keep it moving forward. But if you're the fourth, consider going on ahead to keep the enemy team from contesting and setting up defenses. Be sure to talk with your team about this, or everyone else is going to run off and leave the payload at subpar speeds, which will lose you precious time. And if you're the first person to respawn after a team wipe, for the love of mercy, please wait for your teammates to spawn before running off alone. You'd be surprised how much more effective a 3 hero push is to a solo run. Number 4. If at 5th you don't succeed, try something else. Just because you saw this one trick work for Cloud9 doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Even tried and true strategies can be countered to the point of being useless. If your team isn't getting near the point, if the enemy has you pinned down, try something else. Change your hero pick, get your team to change up, find a different route. Throwing yourself at the enemy defenses again and again only charges their ults and wastes your valuable time. Overly complicated tactics with players you just met will likely flounder, so keep things simple, but keep changing your strategy as the round requires. Number 5. Watch matches and online tutorials. There are lots of good resources. Go beyond the game and read up on tactics on forums and blogs. Watch what other players are doing on YouTube and Twitch. There's more to master than just quick reflexes. On subreddit Overwatch University, users are constantly discussing what counters what best and how to get the most out of each character. Want to be a stronger assault tanking Zarya? There's a post about that. Need to know where to be a Zenyatta? There's a YouTube video for that. Want to be a better Hanzo? There are streamers who play a lot of Hanzo that you should check out. 6. Communicate your hero picks. Be open to talking and listening to your team when choosing your hero. Discuss what your lineup might be missing and what will help your team towards victory. Are you guys staying alive but not pushing them back? Maybe you have too many tanks and not enough damage output. Make decisions, but also tell your teammates your thoughts. If a sniper needs to be taken out, announce you're switching to Winston to deal with it, or else two other teammates might do the same. If you're switching off of healer or tank, it is essential to tell your team. Let them know beforehand so someone else can maybe switch into the role. Maybe switch roles with another teammate or ask for different bodyguards. Number 7. Be supportive and open-minded. First off, don't go all aggro on your teammates. 
It's competitive play, and they should know what they're doing. But maybe they're having a bad round. Treat people with respect, unless they are obviously trolling. Remember that there is another human being on the other side of that character. Mistakes happen. Own up to what you could have done better, and move on. Raging at people and quitting early doesn't help anyone at all. If you feel the need to suggest something to your team, be assertive, not aggressive, with your advice. Instead of cursing them out, give your reasons behind your suggested change. They're more likely to listen if you don't challenge their skill level. Be up for changing your hero pick if your team needs something in a pinch, or if your tactics just aren't working. Maybe the enemy team is just countering your current pick hard. Maybe a Widowmaker needs to be taken down a notch by a Winston. Maybe one of your teammates knows the best way to counter five Roadhogs, and you should really listen to him. AlphaCast also suggests, always offer to fill missing roles in your team. Don't be that guy that everyone hates that first picks Hanzo on attack. Be the calm and collective teammate that offers everyone else to pick their favorite heroes and then fill. Everyone is way more friendly when you do that. Just be this guy, even if it means playing a lot of Mercy and Reinhardt. That is a thought we can get behind. This has been 7 more advanced tips for Overwatch. Thanks for joining us! Which characters do you switch between on a payload push? I love a good Reinhardt leaving with a shield while riding the payload to victory, but a jumpy Lucio combos well with that slight payload heal already going on. Comment below to let us know who you would move the payload with. Like this video? Check out our other videos with the leaderboard and the annotations and in the description. We've got something for everyone, and new videos drop every week. Remember, if you like getting more for your games, subscribe to the leaderboard, where we help you game smarter.